I decided to try and make a cocktail on the fly. And I came up with the name the Christmas Smash because we'll be smashing some cranberries. I um, got well some diminutive halo, which are uh, a type of mandarin orange. It's uh, very tasty, and I figured, could I juice them? We'll find out. I also got grenadine that I made from scratch. I got my cocktail shaker. I'm thinking, why not use vodka as kind of a neutral spirit and uh, throw in some Cointreau. Everything on page sounds like it would be pretty tasty. Since it's Christmas time, thinking 12 days of Christmas, why not 12 cranberries in there? There we go, a dozen cranberries. And we'll go muddle. Here and pop. This is what makes a smash a smash cocktail. Oh. <laughs> but that's what makes it a smash cocktail. You're smashing whatever you got in there, whether it's like mint or some kind of fruit. It's probably safe or not to look into it and don't want to get any more juice in the eye. Yeah, it looks pretty messy there. And uh, let's get these guys out of the way and cut up some halos and find out if you can juice them. Indeed, not a lot, but it smells absolutely delicious. What a perfectly good way to get some sweet mandarin juice right here. Unfortunately, we're sacrificing such delicious seasoned fruit here. I uh, always look forward to halos. And finally, the last of the quarters, or halves there. Two mandarins, how much will that yield? Easily got an ounce of halo juice. Just throw the little, what's left there. Halos are made from the company called Palm Wonderful, or at least shipped by Palm Wonderful. And uh, I also use pomegranate juice made from the same company there. And I figure we don't want to dominate too much with it. So a quarter ounce. What do we have left here? Oh, this Cointreau. I definitely got to put something... Uh, a little boozy, a little orangey there. Do a half ounce. And finally we got the, the vodka. I'm seeing, based off what I put in, probably an ounce and a half should do. That smells delicious. Put the big tin and my last ice cube, so this cocktail better work out because uh, I got no more ice to work with. Well, we let that sit, and obviously, I've forgotten to have a glassware to uh, drink this out of. 
Plus, I do have the Hawthorne strainer to block this stuff, but there's going to be some pulp that I'm going to need to strain. So let me go run and grab the strainer as well as some kind of glass to drink this in. Right back. There we are. I grabbed uh, my old-fashioned glass. It was the quickest thing I could grab. Got a nice tea strainer here. I try to prepare for all these uh, drink videos, but rarely do I have any food. Let's see what uh, this holiday, uh, Christmas smash, I think I shall call this drink. See how this turned out. Quite the mess. Obviously, a smaller uh, glass would have been more appropriate, but let's see what this thing tastes like. Sweet! It's very sweet. Perhaps maybe metal some more cranberries in there. But if it's, some, it's not overly sweet, like if you like a sweet cocktail, this could be your jam. It's very pleasant. Quattro, did I need to put it in? Maybe, maybe not, but I think it really uh, makes for a very interesting cocktail. Could have I put some club soda? Maybe if I wanted to lengthen it. Well, I think it turned out all right. We're gonna call this holiday smash a success. Just be prepared that you'll be drinking a sweet cocktail. Sometimes you don't know if, depending on what you put in there, Obviously, if I put some lemon juice, it would target it, kind of balance it, but, hey, I like it. And I'm pretty sure if you like sweet cocktails, you like this one. And it looks pretty nice, too. So we're getting closer to Christmas. Hopefully, I'll find some uh, more interesting uh, cocktails. So here we have the Christmas Smash.